Hello there from a very hazy Vancouver on this Sunday afternoon. I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera, but the whole place is like white, white, white. Um, so there's a, a big cloud, smoke cover. They actually say that today Vancouver has the worst air quality from anywhere in the world because of wildfires. There's quite a few wildfires burning all around. There's a few to the north, there's a few to the east some in america going over to the border um so there's wildfires all around the city and since yesterday afternoon melinda was actually looking at the sun yesterday and she's like what's going on with the sun because it's like this hazy red ball and um yeah wildfire smoke and apparently it's going to carry on for quite a while so They've put out a, a notification, people got to stay indoors. So I'm going to keep this short so I don't smoke, get too much smoke in. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Anyway, um, yeah, so people need to stay safe indoors and try and have filters on your air and, and stuff like that because it's like really, really bad. They actually reckon it's going to get worse. There are some areas where they're closing the highways or the roads because there's, you can't see to drive from all of the smoke. So that's actually quite hectic. I mean, this um, wildfires over here is starting to get an annual thing. Although it's a, a little late this year. Last year it was earlier that we had a bit of smoke, but not like this. This is crazy. Anyway, so yeah, a hazy Sunday afternoon out here in West Vancouver. But at the same, today I want to talk about something else as well. I mean, um, for those of you that don't know yet, which I don't think there's anybody, but um, the Queen of England's died a couple of days ago. And what that means is it's actually got, you don't think about it, but it's actually got quite a big influence on Canada because the Queen is still the monarch of Canada as well. I mean, she's on our coin, she's on our $20 bill. Um, every time they open any government uh, courts or anything, they open with a little thing about the queen or the monarchy you know so um, there's a lot of changes that needs to happen now I know in England what they said is they're going to immediately replace the banknotes with the new king's face they need to change the the anthem to God save the king and not God save the queen anymore so there's a lot of those changes that would need to happen in Canada although Canada said they're not going to change the banknotes immediately the $20 notes going to stay the same with the queen on it the coins are going to stay the same with the queen on it but when they start doing new ones, they might put the king on it. And then obviously there, um, where there's the queen everywhere in official buildings, there's portraits of the queen and stuff like that. Theoretically, that should all now be replaced with the king because he's now the new monarch. Um, but they also said, don't rush too much. You can just put like a little black cloth around each of the paintings to say, you know, we're mourning the queen until we have new prince of the new reigning king. <laughs> you know, it's amazing all of the stuff that needs to happen for something, well, not silly, but I mean, something like the queen has died. Now the whole damn place must change a whole bunch of things. I actually know that there's, uh, they did, they, I read that they did some polls last year and that 66% of Canadians on, in those polls, for what it's worth, I mean, those things, it also depends who you ask, but 66% of Canadians said that they don't even know if the monarchy should be, if Canada should be part of the monarchy anymore and if we shouldn't just, at the end, there was a lot of people that said they think that when Queen Elizabeth dies eventually, Canada should cut ties with the monarchy and just move on. Because Canada has had a long relationship and Queen Elizabeth has, was a good queen for Canada. That's apparently what they said. But um, so, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how this all how this all plays out. Are we just going to carry on as we are? Are they going to dis? engage from the monarchy and just become a, a i don't even know what you call it is it just a republic well we, we're a country i mean we just don't we just don't uh, if they do that it's just okay we don't we're not part of the monarchy anymore anyway so that's one of the things that they're speaking about although they asked and a bunch of people said no and i think the liberal party says they want to not be part they don't think the queen should be part or the monarchy should be part of canada but at the same time um there's nobody really driving it so i don't think there's anybody feeling really strongly about it most people are just like yeah it's okay we we don't have a problem with the queen and the monarchy so it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out um 
and yeah like i said the bank of canada said they're not changing anything so i'll let you know in the meantime i'm going to go indoors out of the smoke we can't even take a road trip or drive anywhere today because it's just all super smoky all right folks have a good one